Hello and welcome back to another episode of Hexygen Plays Slay the Spire. Now, between episodes, I tried fast mode off camera just to see what that was like, and I decided I think we're going to give it a try for this episode because it may help us avoid two problems I've had in the past, which are single episode acts, which is probably a bit too slow for my upload tastes, and as well, it may help us fit all three acts in a single episode, which may help prevent those episodes where we end up starting on Act 3 and then dying like 10 or 20 minutes in and then have to start another run, which will just help me make uh, these recording sessions a little easier. So, as you can see here, last episode we unlocked uh, Ascension 2 as a silent. Let's give that a try today. Normal enemies are now deadlier. So we'll see how that ends up working out for us. Where's our nearest shop? Seems like it's decent ways away. Only three fights and a question mark, though. So it may be worth going for this gold. I don't think there's anything in our opening deck you want to upgrade. I also don't mind the random boss relic. But this one lets us potentially at least pick a boss relic. But it does uh, hurt our HP in the short term. Let's go for random boss relic, actually. On pickup, choose to transform three cards and upgrade them. That's pretty good, I think. We'll pick... They're likely to be attacks or something, so probably a block and two strikes is going to be okay. Let's do that. We get a poison, noxious fumes, expertise, and backstab. They don't really have any close synergy at the moment, so we'll decide what to do with those as we move along here. I may still go up this path towards the shop, just because we can definitely remove a card if we choose to. And depending on how our HP is going, we can swerve this way for a camp rather than an elite. Let's do that. Start off with a cultist battle. Get a free backstab, which I don't think there's no reason not to use this turn. Hazel Noxus Fumes, since it'll pay for itself in like a couple turns. And we actually can just play out our entire hand. We get Expertise. What could we get in our deck? Another Strike. I don't think that'll be enough to kill you. It'll be 12, and then a 3 you already have on you, which is 15. We're gonna want to defend up this turn. No reason really to Expertise, I think. Other than to get a defend out of the way, maybe? Whoops, that... For some reason, I thought that was just going to draw one or two cards. First time playing it. Definitely draws eight, as it says on the card. So that may have been a slight mistake. But we still just win here, so it doesn't matter. Uh, One thing I have noticed in my short attempt trying fast mode, I do occasionally click too fast and get into this menu and, and potentially might accidentally pick a card at some point, which I hope I don't, but uh, it may be inevitable. We're going to pick another Noxus Fumes, I think. Let's continue stacking up the poison for now. This seems like a defend twice turn. And then we'll play Noxus Fumes. I neutralize another Noxus Fumes, an Offend, and a Strike. Sounds good to me. Are you... Yeah, you're not dead this turn just yet. Let's uh, defend up, I guess. Poison will kill you sooner than later. And by sooner than later, I mean this turn, no matter what. Now we have... I'm leaning towards terror, as I usually do. A single terror is usually okay. We are going poison, though, rather than attack, so it's not as necessary. But in that case, we don't really need any of these. I guess if we're going poison, we'll skip terror for now. I might just go, like, a non-attack poison build. Right, backstab is fine enough, since it gets rid of itself, and we've never really had an opportunity to make expertise work. So maybe it'll be... All right, in this deck, for all we know. On second ex inspection, I kind of do like this path more. Less combat before that. Elite. 
And we still can go up for a shop over here, and we'll probably have more money by then. So let's uh, go left. We have a shop after all. <laughs> Game always uh, makes me a liar, saying so I won't get a shop anytime soon, and then immediately get one in a question mark. I forget is a possibility. Yeah, bouncing flask. A single one of those is probably good in a poison deck. Without a question. Then we'll remove a strike, I guess. Right? It's either a strike or expertise, but I think I like expertise for now. We are getting a bit low on strikes, though. I think it'll still be fine. For a couple enemies here, we might have to rely on poison to finish them off. Oh, you're just dead. Most likely, anyways. Then... Mounting Flask seems pretty good here, and then maybe a Survivor, so I'm okay with taking two damage, I suppose. There's a Strike in Noxus Fumes. Get more energy. Expertise might be better later on, but for now it's kind of just a dead card. Hope you're just dead. Now we get Outmaneuver, Bane, or another Bounting Flask. Bane would make up for the fact we got rid of so many strikes, but I think I'm still going to go for outmaneuver here. Since we probably aren't going to get any kind of energy upgrades for a while. And a second bouncing flask is also okay in a poison deck though. These are all decent choices at the very least. Go with a single out maneuver. And we get oddly smooth stone, which will be good since we have a bunch of defense still. Let's see what we can get done here. I think I'm just going to defend once in Bouncing Class to get rid of their artifacts early. Actually, just did hit entirely just the middle one there. It's pretty silly. Never tell me the odds of that happening. Uh, sure, we'll get rid of your artifacts in case it matters. I'd like to outmaneuver. I'll probably just defend twice. Could have expertise for something interesting, but uh, playing it slow is fine. Especially since I think we'll have no problems against these dudes. I'll play everything. Take two more damage, which is unfortunate, but... Uh, Nothing we can do about it. I think Astrolabe was an interesting first artifact to get this run. Definitely a little more interesting than just picking a random rare or something, since it can more definitely set you towards some archetype than some other cards. Definitely sh maybe should have defended there. But I guess it saved the same HP either way. Yeah, these guys are pretty toast. But yeah, when getting three random cards, you kind of have to go with whatever it gives you rather than just uh, whatever one you would have otherwise picked. So, <laughs> expertise is definitely good against Dazed, I guess, since you would have probably drawn all these next turn and instead got them all now. And you're just dead. Instinctively neutralized you when it wasn't necessary. Ancient tea set. It's all right. This is probably a skip. I don't think we need a second out maneuver right now. Nor anything else really here. Get a question mark. Another shop. You don't say. Probably be another card removal then. Sounds good to me. Can't get any of these artifacts, unfortunately. Goodbye to another strike. And we have an upgrade, potentially. Probably our other Noxus Fumes. I'd imagine. Since we'll get more benefit out of that than a Bouncing Flask at the moment. Over time, anyways. Let me just double check. This is four times. 
Now I think that'll probably be second on the upgrade list. Then after that, it'll be a either neutralizer out maneuver. There's our Noxus Fumes upgraded, and our next artifact is... By artifact, I mean Relic. Still never going to get that right, I guess. Let's uh, get Neutralize and Open Hand, too. That's kind of funny that you can pick Bild Flame and Backstab. Definitely a bit of a noob trap there, since you already get it. In the beginning of your hand. Which way are we heading now? Less reason to go with it for the shop, since we removed two cards twice already. But uh, we still might get the... 30 gold or something. Hey, give me the curse. Dreamcatcher, whenever you rest, you may add a card to your deck. Well, we'll see if that ever becomes useful. Fungi, Beast, and a Spike Slime. This will go on you. Kind of doubt we'll be able to kill the first enemy. We actually can. Uh, did I take the hit? We're going to rest for sure at the next camp, so... Even if that is right before the boss or something. That is a lot of damage you're about to deal to me. Oh, this is fine. Knock this fumes out, maneuver. What does our next turn look like? I guess this is fine. He's not going to attack us, so may as well play that. And get a strike out of it. And you're just dead now. Get three decks. Acrobatics, probably not as necessary with expertise floating around. Lying knee, huh? It's a good card, I just don't know if it's really good for our archetype. And we do have an outmaneuver already. A single one probably won't hurt us too much in the long run, but, uh, maybe I'll take it anyway. Why not? Definitely am a little bit too liberal with the cards I pick sometimes, but, uh, hasn't bitten us too hard just yet. Well, other than, like, our million losses. But I think those are mostly for other reasons. Or the... Or the cards we pick rather than, uh, Good cards like Flying Knee. Definitely have to stick more closely to certain type of archetypes, I think. Are we going to try and go for the Survivor here? I think we are. Did not get it. Oh, we did get it. Never mind. I just realized how bad Regret is with uh, Expertise sometimes. Definitely have to make sure we line it up with Survivor in those situations. And you're just dead. 16, poison. We do want Catalyze if we can see it still. This card is discarded from your hand. Draw one card. Yep, not going to happen in this deck. Neither of these really. Poison stab is okay. I think it's definitely one of the worst poison cards though. It's only three poison and five damage, and we're not—we don't really have any attack synergy going on. So I th honestly think we might skip it. Cannot remove a card just yet. We can get another Noxus Fumes if we want. I also think Deadly Poison is pretty bad some of the time. I don't know what it upgrades to though. I don't think we want any of this stuff. I would like Momified Hand, especially with all the Noxus Fumes we're taking. Speaking of which, I, I say that and I definitely am almost picking this for sure. So, we'll grab that. And move on to our Elite. That is a bit scary. And Flying Knee him for next turn, potentially. I think we just f start fighting him now. Why not? I think that was a decent amount of damage, and I didn't want to have to wait for Backstab to come back around again. Definitely get rid of you. Play everything else, I guess.
It's probably Noxious Fume and Defend twice. Probably let Poison deal with this Lagavulin. And his Strength and Dex down shouldn't matter too much. Considering... This is enough to kill you. It is... Probably should have played some cards not to take some damage there. That was a mistake. Deflect, dodge and roll, and finisher. I think deflect is fine with expertise if we want to make that work. And we do need block in a poison deck somewhat. And free block is good. Dodge and roll is good for a similar reason. Since we can carry over four block the next turn. I think I like deflect more right now though. What do we want to get rid of here? For the boss. Who's our boss exactly? Boss Slime. He will get rid of our card draw a little bit if uh, we don't take this there. I guess it's the block potion more than the dex potion. Since the dex potion will save more in the long run. I guess the poison potion is pretty bad against boss slime too. Since our poison has to rebuild up afterwards anyway. So let's actually get rid of that. We will indeed rest and pick a card I guess. And we get Bane Prepared or Sucker Punch. I do like Prepared, usually. Bane is still alright. I think Prepared, since it interferes with our deck size less. Helps us dig for whatever we need in the future. Just set up for next turn, I guess. We can actually just play everything, thanks to Ancient T-Set. And un Unseizing Top, giving us some extra stuff, too. Do I want to risk drawing a Noxus Fumes I won't be able to play just yet? I think the answer is no, and we already have enough blocks, so... Oh, forgot the Artifact Potion. The whole reason I brought it this far. I guess we play everything, and see what Unseizing Top gives us. Expertise. Well, we definitely can play our last Noxious Fumes now. Whoops. There goes potentially a bunch of HP. Guess we'll take these now since we're going to get debuffed later regardless. Get neutralized. I probably would like to play Survivor, if possible. We get our Defend. Tries again. Not bad. I think that's fine. Damage take. He's not going to split, unfortunately. Now will you split? I think that is enough. 19 is definitely low enough. But uh, we may as well try and get like a flying knee or something going this turn. Help maneuver is good. And a flying knee. Exactly what we asked for. Do get our card draw back now. Get rid of this regret. We have eight poison on them. Let's see if bouncing class allows us to split either. Not quite. Can we expertise into defend first and see? July's and use good. Probably going to get frailed here. So let's get energy for next turn going. Try and stop a week, I guess, in advance. So he, you're splitting next turn no matter what, so we can't be weakened by you. deal quite a lot to us, aren't you? So, another good expertise turn, I think. Maneuver. May as well make this guy split into as small as am of an amount as possible. You actually split two. Didn't do my math on that one. But you guys are just dead. Hit the first two, please. Or not. 
I think we have something cooking here. I'm just not really sure what. It's definitely a deck. Eat poison per turn is at least amazing enough. Even if we get absolutely nothing else going. Six potion. First, Phantasmal Killer, or Corpse Explosion. Corpse Explosion, not bad in this deck, if we ever get a Catalyst or something. Not sure if it's better than a Burst, though. We're definitely making this deck more of like a build up Noxus Fumes then. And just blow up one person. Effectively it just... I don't know. I think we're better off going for Burst here. Just in my opinion. I feel like this just overlaps what we're already doing. It doesn't help enough. It may save us like one turn in a game. At most, against like a single boss or something. Our artifact is... I'm leaning towards Black Star here. Tiny House did get upgraded recently. Has another effect added onto it. I don't remember which is which. I think it might be the upgrade a random card. But I don't really want three curses right now. And Black Star will probably give us at least that many. I haven't really felt the stronger normal enemies yet. So that's at least good for this deck. I don't know if that's good for future prospects in other decks at the moment. Until we see more of them. Killed Parasite. Seems alright. We will have one extra energy here. Don't want to risk missing a Noxus Fumes. I think the answer is no. So, we're already taking no damage. So pass. Pouncing Flask is a good play here, probably. Well, I would also like to set up our Noxus Fumes. Let's defend for a tiny bit and Noxus Fumes twice. That'll probably give more poison in the long term. Definitely took a big hit though, more than I'd like. That's 14, which will at least get through plated armor. But I guess if we're not going to do that much damage, we may as well just burst at a fend or something. Or I think just reduce your plated arm by one. And get more energy for next turn. Get rid of this regret. And then play everything it looks like. Oh, that's right, we have unseizing top. So this, this enemy I definitely can feel, after complaining about it, the tougher uh, stats. Definitely pretty, uh, hitting us pretty hard. More than I would normally expect. You might have been dead in two turns anyway, so it might not have been worth uh, doing that. Though I suppose we could have played everything anyway. For some reason we're getting way more energy than I'm expecting. Guess I'm not just play, paying close enough attention to things like... Uh, when I'm out maneuvering. Getting expertise, which shouldn't matter. Well, I just did a whole bunch of damage to us. Probably shouldn't have done that. We're heading for a shop, right? So yeah, that's gotta be a curse removal. For sure. Backflip? Or dagger throw? I think I like the backflip still. And get Lantern, but I think we definitely need to get rid of this curse since it is hurting us way too much. That just leaves another outmaneuver or an underhanded strike, which I think we're going to avoid. Don't really need a fourth Noxus Fumes, I think, as well. When's our next rest? Seems like it is quite a bit of ways. Take quite some time to... Get rid of the artifact in this guy. Whoops. 
It's the red up block. Let us just play this slowly, I guess. Not risk getting rid of another Noxus Fumes. Not that it matters for a few turns, I suppose. Not a fan of this hand. That's expertise first. I think we'll block for a tiny bit, and then also drink this potion. Yeah. Kinda need to. Give me our zero energy defend. He did not, unfortunately. He did get a slightly better defend. Which uh, makes us take no damage. I'll keep an eye out for a well-laid plan in the future now that I think about it, since that would be nice to have as well. Again, hitting us for quite a lot. Can finally be neutralized. Let us... First day defend. Which is fine. Well, we got enough block anyway. Through other means. Going quite slowly. But you're finally getting poisoned, so that's good. My burst survivor again. The poison will get you soon enough. I think this is an alright turn to play this, finally. Doesn't matter how much you block when we have poison. Just took a little while to get started. Definitely should have gotten rid of a strike over a block there. My mistake. And you're dead. By a lot. Bane. I think for battles like that, you can tell that Bane is not going to be great in this deck. I hope Maneuver plus, and then a Backflip plus. Definitely think I might pick one of these two here. I think we're okay with just a Backflip plus for now. I think we might have to turn to rest before an Elite, rather than fight an Elite and rest. That will be an extra battle. A Sneko? Which could be bad, seeing as Ascension 2 has made them tougher in some way. Definitely don't need to defend. Oh, this is a pretty bad hand. Let's Swift Potion, see if getting zero cost stuff. Jeez, Sneko not messing around this time. With our costs. Probably going to have to be a defend and a survivor. Give me more zero cost stuff. First. Get tons of uh, energy next turn. Or 10 block, which I think is good enough. We won't prepare just yet. Definitely going slower than I'd like to. Expertise me. Oh, free six damage. Free bouncing flask. I think it's fine at this point. I did hope to get burst again. Some playable fashion but that did not happen. Backflip. And deflect. Oh, definitely didn't need to deflect now I think about it. But not like we could play anything else. Went to three cost cards in our hand. I would like a chance to make the Sneko Relic work one of these runs. Just haven't seen it often enough to think about it. Guess we defend twice. Except so I have two more turns. Definitely not a good looking hand for that though. Oh, we'll live through this turn. 
You're dead next turn no matter what, though. We'll have like 3 HP going to the next battle. It's pretty bad. Give me... Piercing Whale, I think is okay. It might help us live through this next battle. Cultist and Chosen. Hope this Cultist has to die as soon as possible. No need to double any of that stuff. Give me a burst on outmaneuver, I think. And might just skip this backflip. Let's not lose out on something important. So we can play Noxious Fumes. Full expertise for sure. Piercing Whale is fine. Do need to defend up a little. Two will keep us from death. And then we can bounce in class score, noxious fumes. You kinda have to go though. I don't know if we can afford to take that that damage, all things said. Even three is like half our HP, so we'll just set up like that, I guess. They can hit for full next turn, probably. Ten. Ten is manageable. Backflip already gets rid of most of it. Then we can deflect, I suppose. We won't put another Dazed in our deck with Prepared. Why are we looking on Dazed? That's actually really bad. Oh my god. Oh, prayer. Are we just actually dead? You just kill us, cultist. You just killed us. Probably had to save some HP in that Sneko fight in some moment. We did unlock our next set of cards, though. Accuracy, shivs deal additional 3 damage. Cloak and Dagger. Gain 6 block, add 1 shiv to your hand. And Storm of Steel. Discard your hand, add 1 shiv to your hand for each card discarded. So I suppose when I said in a previous episode that we wanted to build like a shiv deck, I didn't really consider that we didn't have cards like Co Cloak and Dagger yet. So I had seen that they existed. Just never noticed that we never uh, unlocked them. So that's good. That may give us, especially this card, may give us the extra offensive advantage we need in a deck like what we just tried to build. I think that is going to be it for this episode though. It is a little shorter then I usually like to keep things, but uh, that's mostly due to the fact of fast mode, probably. So, I guess these will be around Isaac length for future episodes, especially with uh, Act 3. Thank you for watching. Do consider leaving a like or dislike so I know where things stand, and see you next time.